Hey everybody, this is Johnny here at MDI. I'm here going to be trying to show you guys how to attach a G85 to the Aircross 2 uh, gimbal from Guzhen Motor. So uh, first thing first is you got everything attached to your camera. That's included the L bracket, the Manfrotto with the real 50 uh, millimeters real rod system, so you can attach the attach the iFocus M. And then you just basically speaking, make sure the motor is in your right side of the camera. You can actually use it the other side, but for GH5, we have experienced that it's easier to attach and balance by having on the right side of the camera. So you slide it in, open the red button in the back, so slide completely to a degree, and then face upward first like this, and if it's fall downward or backwards like this, that's mean that you have to adjust this plate here. So what we do is we push down until it doesn't move anymore. And then you secure it. What I also do here is I actually lock up the, uh, the I should lock down the pan axis and the row axis in the back. So this way you don't have to worry about them moving around. So now once you face upward and it still works, now you're facing forward. If, if it fall downwards in the front, doesn't mean front heavy, so this part of the bar now gonna move back a little bit. So when you get that done, lock it down, and then do a quick test to make sure you can it's balanced. So when that's done, go ahead and attach the cable into the bottom of the uh, here there's a two can port, so you can use the first one. I'm using the Maker 25 millimeters lens. It's a senior lens, and then the iFocus M is actually powered by the gimbal. So once that's done, we do the next thing is balancing the raw, which is the one on the back. Balancing is really simple, really. You just um, screw it. If it falls to the left, you just push the bar to your right. until it's done. In this case right now, I'm actually having all the way to the end, which is okay. Um, then you can double check. As long as the roll doesn't fall back fairly quickly, it usually is a decent balance. If you can have a problem balancing the roll and then because you're having a, a heavier lens set, you can do is attach a counterweight on the back of the L bracket that gives you some leeway on working with the row in the front. So, so now you see that we had to rebalance everything again. So we're going to do that. We're going to have the weight there and the rebalance. So it's bottom heavy. We're going to move this back a little bit until it stays. Then we secure it. Now the next thing we do is move this one forward until it balance. Obviously you want to lock down the back there so it doesn't move. So when that's locked, secured, and then check it again. So now you can unlock the one in the back. So it's actually this side heavier, which is good better for me in the case of balancing. We can do is moving the bar to the opposite directions until it balance. You can tell that the camera is not completely balanced yet, so we're gonna do is readjust that again. So to do this, all we have to do is moving it forward just a little bit. Micro adjustment. Let's lock it up. That should be good now. And finally, we're gonna adjust is the one in the back. This, most people, and sometimes myself included, we forget to balance this. So it's very simple. All you do is unscrew it, tilt to the side. If you move, that means that I had to move forward. If you move to your left, if you move to your right, it may have to go backwards. And then find a common ground, it doesn't move. And that's where your balance is going to be. So that means balance. So now you secure that. And there you go. You got this all completely done. You turn it on. You should be able to do under slug. You should be able to control the focus ring. And 
The other way we also check the balancing of the, your gimbal is do the inception mode. It's actually really quickest way to check the balance. It's triple tap the wheel, and when you're in inception mode, let it spin. When you have a perfect balance gimbal uh, on the ca on the camera on the gimbal, you can actually do a three three sixty. That's my my cat Jan Jan, sixteen years old, still very spoiled. So that means that it's actually uh, balanced enough that you can actually do three sixty. When this when your inception mode does not do three sixty, only do like one eighty or less, that usually means that your your pan axis is not balanced correctly. Uh, I do not recommend using the balance check on the LED slot at this point because sometimes it doesn't give you 100% perfect information. So this is how we do it, and this is very sim simple. We do have another video about how to balance with the Black Magic Packet 4K. It's much more complicated, so check that out and you know comment below. Additionally, if you uh, don't want to use this Manfrotto plate, you want to use another ad ad adapter to attach the focus motors, you can do it, you can use this, you can basically slide underneath the L bracket and secure it, so you'll be actually working from the bottom here. We have two of those going to be raffling off, so there'll be a total of four actually, two for this video, two for the other video. Go ahead, comment below, and um, anybody who comments below had a chance to, opportunity to win two of this. This is a price of uh, $40, so we would like to give them away. So comment below, and hopefully you enjoy this video. See ya.